let's have a look at discrete data patterns. So discrete data means we've got whole numbers. Like in this example here, we've got Thea making patterns with some buttons. So you have to have a whole number of buttons. You can't have a half button. You've either got one or you don't. So that's why this is discrete data. So we've been given these three different patterns. And the first thing we've been asked to do is to complete the table. So pattern number one, if I just want to count up my number of buttons, one, two, three, four, five, six. So pattern number one has six buttons. Pattern number two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pattern number three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and we've got some room here for pattern number four, five, and six. So we need to now start thinking, well, what is happening and how do I work out what the next numbers would be? So think about the difference. I'm going from pattern one to pattern two, we're adding on two. From pattern number two to three, we're also adding on two. So that means to get to the next pattern, I need to add on two. So that's going to give me 12, plus another two is 14, plus another two is 16. So that's the first step, is identifying the patterns, and notice that we've got on the table one has got a variable n, and the other's got the variable b. That's going to help us identify on our graph what to do and what labels and definitions. Okay, so that's what they're saying. They're saying n is um, the pattern number and b is the number of buttons. Okay, it's always important to have those variables defined. So, plot the points on our graph. All right, so we've got our points here. So the first coordinate point, I'm going to look at that first one, is pattern number one and number of buttons is six. Okay, so I need to plot that point one, six. So I'm going to go across to pattern number one. Notice that we've got an N on this axis here. So pattern number one um, is there, and there were six buttons. So that's going to give me this coordinate point there. All right, now let's look at the next coordinate point. The next one is 2 and 8. So we're going to add on 2 and 8. So there's, oh, and there, so there is 2, and here is 8. So there's our next pattern number. Third one, 3 and 10. So 3 and 10 takes us there. Now notice as I'm drawing these, I am not going to collect, connect them together with a line. These are discrete points, meaning each of these points is separate. Okay, So I am not going to connect them together. They must stay as just a coordinate point. You can either use a cross, or if you wanted, you could use a little circle to donate the point. So you could have them as little dots like that. Okay, That doesn't matter. But do not put a line through them. Okay, So... Find the equation for the number of buttons. Alright, so we need to think about the number of buttons B in any pattern N. Okay, so let me go back to this table. So I know that I'm adding on two buttons each time. So each time I go up another pattern number, I add on two. If I also go back to my graph here, then we can think, well, if I had pattern number one was six buttons, what would pattern number zero be? So pattern number zero, I'm going to go back by two. So I'm going to go back by two down to four. So in terms of writing an equation, those are the two pieces of information I need to know. I need to know that I add on two for each pattern number. And I need to know that pattern 0 would have 4 buttons. So if I was to write an equation, I could say, well, the number of patterns, the number of buttons B depends on what pattern number I've got. And I'm going to add on 2 each time. And I'm starting at 4 buttons. 
okay? And that will then be our equation. So if I was to take each of those values to check, so say I was to check this point here. So if I put 2 times 1 plus 4, that's going to give me 6, which is the correct value. Let me check this one. If I did 2 times pattern number 2 plus 4, 4 plus 4 will give me 8, which is that point there. Okay, so our equation is the number of buttons is equal to 2 times the number pattern number plus 4, because that's our pattern starting. Okay, the next one. Use your equation to find out how many buttons would be in Thea's 20th pattern. So we want to know about the 20th pattern. So that's going to be n. n is our pattern number. Okay, go back to that definition. n is the pattern number. So the 20th pattern, I'm going to substitute that into this equation. And in place of the n, I'm going to replace that with the number 20. So that's going to say 2 times 20 is 40, plus 4 is 44. So how many buttons will there be? There will be 44 buttons. Okay, explain how the equation relates to the pattern. Alright, so if I go back to the pattern itself. So our very first pattern, there were how many buttons? There were six buttons. And going from this pattern to the next pattern, we added on two more buttons. Go from pattern two to pattern three, we added on two more. So that plus two, if I connect that with this two here, that is how many more buttons you get in each pattern. And that's what I want to explain here. Um, there are two more buttons in each pattern. Therefore, B equals 2N. Leaves it 2. Now think about how did I find that 4? So that's thinking back to here and going, well, if I went back to pattern number 0, um, then pattern number 0 would have 4 buttons in it. And that's how I got the value of 4. Um, so pattern 0 would have 4 buttons. Therefore, B equals 2N plus 4. And it's that plus 4 that's telling me to do that. One last question here. Which pattern would have 92 buttons? Okay, so think about the 92 buttons. Is that B or N? And that is our number B. So B is equal to 92. And we want to know what pattern, so that means we're asking what is n. So let's write down our equation, b equals 2n plus 4. And in this case, I'm going to substitute b as 92 is equal to 2n plus 4. So I want to rearrange and solve this equation. So the first thing I'm going to do is flip both sides around to get the n on the other side. So 2n plus 4 equals 92. Now I am going to move that plus 4 across to the other side. So I'm going to leave the 2 in where it is, leave the equals, leave the 92. And that plus 4 gets moved across and it's plus on one side so it becomes minus 4 on the other. So that's going to give me 2 in. Now 92 take away 4 is 88. Last step is I want to get the n by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by, oh not by n, Divide both sides by 2, and that's going to give me n equals 44. So the question asks what pattern would have 92 buttons, and I can say the 44th pattern will have 92 buttons. And there's our answer.